If you can hear me bleed, rodeo. Whooping and riding is all the boy I do. Walking and rolling on the back of the moon. He's a bird arena with a spot and spoon. He makes a slip every once in a while. That's when he gets those frequent flyer miles. All he needs is his boots and a roof. The bare essentials of the rodeo. You have been listening to the music of Robert Frith throughout the show today. Here's a little secret. He works here. We go broke putting dollars in his guitar case, but nevertheless, it's great having him around playing some music. Our Kristen Dunn talked with him about his life in music in our latest edition of CSN Soundstage. Robert Frith, thank you so much for joining us on CSN Soundstage. But what am I talking about? You work with us. This innovation of bringing sports and entertainment together is kind of sort of a visionary of an artist like you coming in. 2007, 2008, 2010, Texas Songwriter of the Year, accolades go through the roof. Where did you start? How old were you? I was eight years old when I first started playing. And I grew up in Port Arthur, a little section of Port Arthur called Port Acres, which is literally across the tracks from Port Arthur. But everybody in our town played music. And I always joke around it that if you didn't play music and you were from Port Arthur, they made you move, you know? And I probably our most famous Port Arthurian would be Janis Joplin. You know, musically. Now, there's a lot of them, like Jimmy Johnson, former coach, you know, an analyst now. All these folks are from Port Arthur, but everybody, it's a musically driven area. You played your way through college. Yeah. And when, what did you go to college for? Why, why didn't you focus on music at that point in time? What was your Well, I went to Lamar vision? University in Beaumont. And uh, I, at first I thought, you know, like, my mom was a real strong work ethic type lady, and she still is. And she's like, if you've got a spare minute, you could be doing something. You can go cut somebody's yard. You know, she still tells me to go out and do stuff. I've got a ton of things to do with my three kids and my jobs and everything. So, but uh, we just always were working at stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go into law enforcement and get a, I got my criminal justice. I was majoring in criminal justice and I thought, I don't want to go to work every day with a gun and I don't want to go to work every day wondering if somebody's got a gun. So I thought, I really am into mass communication. So I switched over to mass communication, got my bachelor's in mass comm and moved out here to work at what was HSC, a startup regional network, much like CSN is now. Let's go through the song list that we have for today. Okay. Forever Now, the first song that everybody's gonna hear. Where did that come from? And what lyric sticks out to you the most? Oh, wow. For it to be titled Forever Now. Um, I played a gig at, at Anton's in Austin, which is a great place to get. You haven't been to, have you been to Austin yet, Anton's? Okay. Uh, that's where Stevie Ray and all those guys grew up playing. And um, Pat Wickenand, an old friend of mine, played harmonica with me. Uh, and he and I played a show there. We opened a show there for the Derailers and one other act. And we got iced over. And we were supposed to play the next day here in Houston, and we couldn't leave. So we had to stay in the hotel. And so we just sat there and nothing to do. You know, <laughs> nothing was open, couldn't get anywhere. And that song came out from that weekend where we were stuck there. And when I woke up, he said, hey, man, I got an idea for a song. And he said he had Forever Now written. So he said, I'm going to go to sleep now. It's my turn. So I got up. And by the time he woke up, we pretty much had the song at least almost finished, if not done. And we just tweaked it a little bit after that. Um, I, I like the line in it because our lives are so short. Please turn gray with me. It just means, you know, it's together forever right now. Forever now is what that was about. We were trying to say, well, how can we say something quirky and say that in a way that's kind of quirky? Yeah. So forever then, forever now. All right. Times at peace, times at hand, times at ease, times at rain. Most times, who's to say what may be? Around the corner of my life, so please pray for me. Live for now, live for them.